Welcome back to the channel. Um, on this video we're going to work on doing a custom OBS interior. Uh, this is a parts truck I had acquired uh, not too long ago. I've been parting out and decided to do the whole interior kind of a different color and sell it as uh, one big uh, kit I guess. Um, you can see that everything is pretty dirty and rough. Uh, I think they went mud and stuff. There's some broken bits and pieces around uh, but I can I mean the plastic I can repair fairly easy. Um, as long as the uh, those leather inserts and the carpet and stuff were in good shape was all that I was concerned about. But we're going to get started and uh, get all, as much of this mud and uh, dirt and debris off these panels. trying to get some of this uh, texture out of here where it looks like a sticker used to be on the dash pad here. I'm just lightly taking a razor blade and trying to scrape this excess glue off and file down a little bit of the texture itself uh, to smooth down those uh, little cracks and ridges that form behind the sticker there. This is after everything's uh, been cleaned and prepped pretty good. I got the plastic there on the door panel uh, fixed. And got it in the booth and just going to get ready to uh, check over everything once more and get ready to start spraying it. Um, I decided to go with the dark brown and you can see uh, I taped up the carpet and there's leather inserts. And so doing the dark brown is going to give it a, a good two-tone between the tan. Uh, kind of remind you a little bit of like a King Ranch interior. Here's the color itself. Um, there's a certain, I guess, uh, process to do when doing this interior stuff because you can change the uh, gloss of it whether you want it shiny or you want a satin finish or just a, a flat finish.
Here it is a couple days later. Uh, I got everything partially assembled here on the dash just to take some pictures and stuff, uh, all I listed online. Um, what I ended up doing is uh, trading out partially. Uh, I had a guy bringing his truck up and I'm gonna install all this interior, keeping his old interior, and he's gonna pay me to install it and for this stuff, of course. Um, and his old interior would give me another interior. I can also uh, sell as it is or I can fix it up, refurbish, and do something similar to this. So here's a customer's truck. It's a farm truck, you use it to feed his cattle and stuff. Um, it's a little rough on the inside. Um, but these panels, everything's pretty useful. He's gonna keep his seat in the meantime uh, while he looks for a tan seat to go in the center. He's got this really cool uh, cowskin headliner and he had these custom sun visors made that I think are gonna go really, really well with this interior. Um, so definitely excited to see how it all looks together. All right, after getting uh, that rubber mat out and most of the interior torn apart, you can see this thing is really filthy on the inside. A little worse than I expected. Um, a lot of mud caked up here, and there's a decent amount of rust too. Uh, you can see there's this patch panel right next to the wiring harness that's already been put in. And I'm trying to get the seat belt out, but you can see this whole cab corner's pretty much gone. Um, and he knows about this, but uh, it's an issue that probably should be addressed before this interior, but It'll have to be another time. Um, I'm probably going to end up cutting that bolt out and having to put a bolt nut in that place to put the tan seat belts in. Um, and I figured while I had everything out, I'm going to go ahead and clean up his instrument cluster for him. So here it is, it's all uh, fully assembled, uh, just minus the seat, haven't put it in yet. But I'm really stoked with how this thing turned out. It's definitely something different. You don't really see any of uh, these brown interiors. I see a lot of people do like a black or a dark gray, but uh, it's definitely just something different. Um, I'll probably be making a couple more videos on these OBS interiors. Uh, I have no doubt I'll be doing a few more of these. Um, but if you have any uh, questions or want to see uh, different content or anything else, just let, leave a comment or let me know. And if you also can remember, uh, if you subscribe to the channel and stuff, it really means a lot.